Well, hello, hello, and welcome to Games Revisited with your host, Anon Jr. We are getting ready to... <laughs> we're up to our hip and Sith, <laughs> or something like that. We are getting ready to finish up where we left off last week. We were on Korban, going through the Sith Academy. Uh, off camera, between the last week and... Now, I went ahead and made sure everybody was leveled up appropriately. And as I mentioned at the end, we're going to do a quick run through, see if anybody's got any new conversation options. I don't think they do. I, I think we've actually finished up what, um, what everybody has to say. Everybody's a little special side quest hey type deals. What can I do for you? But, um, let's, let's check on that first. Uh, ooh. Well, you make me a Sorry, security spike. I don't have nope. one handy right now. Okay. Besides, we've got plenty of security spikes already. Not much point in overloading on them, is there? Oh, there's all. You can always hey there. have another what one. What can I do for you? All right. Uh, don't feel like playing any Pazak. No, I've already talked to you about that. Um. It seems to me that if you don't really remember anything about being Revan then it doesn't really matter anymore. You are who you are now, right? I don't see the Sith Lord standing here. I see a friend who's been with us through thick and thin. Remember, Malik's the one who tried to destroy Terrace. Okay, cool. All right, nothing new there. And let's try Mr. Kenders. Yeah, what do you want? What do you want? Um, Korriban is a Sith world, that's for sure. I mean, just look at this place. Rumor has it that the leader of our clan at the time, Mandalore, did go down. They say the Sith performed terrible magics here. Do you have anything else you want to ask? Nope. Your choice. I'm here if you want something done right. No, oh, I probably will take either you or Mr. HK Statement. over here. HK-47 is ready to serve, Master. Commentary. That is unnecessary now, Master. I have been returned to you and my memory core is now fully functional. Statement. My functionality has now been fully restored, Master. I exist to serve Revan as your personal battle droid. In time, my assassination protocol can be restored, and at that point I will once again endeavor to eliminate any meatbag opposition you may have. That was comforting, I think. <laughs> Any meatbag opposition you may have. Um, nothing here, right? No, nothing here. There's nobody in that last one off that way, so now we get to try. All right, Jolie. What else you got for us, old man? On your mind. What do you know bad, about the Sith? Bad men. Women too, to be fair. Okay. You gotta know more than that. Oh, indeed. They make a fine sandwich also. <laughs> but don't tell the Jedi Council I said that. Okay. Uh... How do I want to handle it? Do you know anything important about the Sith or not? You're being elusive on purpose. Spit it out, old man, or things get rough. Now, <laughs> as tempting as that is, let's just go with you're being elusive on purpose. <sighs> and just what gave you the impression that I know anything more about the Sith than you do? <laughs> well, let me see. Which one of these options should I pick? You did. You did. Or you did. You did. Oh, that's right. Damn the years of the young. I was expecting you to be your usual inattentive self when I mentioned that. Hey. So it's true, yes. I fought plenty of Sith. That was during the time of Exar Kun. Oh, 40 years ago now. Has it been that long? Uh, hmm. Are these Sith the same as the ones who followed me? Are these the same Sith we're fighting now? Who is Exar Kun? Uh, we already know the answer to that one. They gave us that of the Jedi Enclave, so 
see a previous episode on our YouTube channel. Link below. Uh, <coughs> sorry. What, what was that? Oh, um, let's go with the... Are these the same Sith that we're fighting no, now? No, no, of course not. The Sith have come and gone for ages. They were not called the Sith many thousands of years ago, perhaps. But the dark side was always present without a doubt. Oh, sure, hmm. occasionally the light side comes close to vanquishing the dark. But the dark always returns. The fact that Exar Kun was defeated didn't mean the Sith would never return, as they obviously have now. Everyone knows that. Obviously. So, um, what do you know? What happened? Or who is this Exar Kun? Let's try what happened during the war, then. That is not a pleasant time to remember. After Exar Kun fell to the dark side, he attempted to recruit other Jedi to his cause. What surprised us, what took us completely unprepared, was how utterly successful he was. Many Jedi hmm. joined him and became Sith themselves. Why they did, I... I will never truly know, but they did. Battle broke out throughout the Order, pupil against the Master. We fought ourselves. <laughs> this isn't going to be more sad moaning, is it? But you exterminated all the traitors? No. That must have been difficult. Yes, more than difficult. Next to impossible. How do you fight against someone you love? Oh, we'll find I find out. like such memories. It leaves a taste in the mouth that... Uh, it is a sadness I thought I'd put aside long ago. Ask me about the war some other time. Just not now. I would prefer to be by myself for now. Okay, that's a little more information. Um, is that the only bit of new stuff? Mind, do you? Anything about the place? He only get never mind. All right, <laughs> Korriban's a rock. Mind the Sith, and that's about all I got to say about that. Now let's get going. Okay. Oh, I get it. Let's play with the old man's head, is it? He's okay. half senile. He'll forget I said anything. More than half. Wait, well, what was this about, anyway? Okay. Yeah, so we get a little bit more progress there. I, I do this every time, and I'm pretty sure the result's gonna always be the same, but... Okay, you can actually say something other than beep, beep, beep. Hmm, program spike? Negatory. Alright. What about you, Z? What you got for me? Alright, uh... No. Oh, nothing new. Very well. It's a long way to say very well. Alright, and you honey, My what you got? Seeds at the thought of that man still running free. Ooh. I cannot stand still oh, when yeah, I think that's about right. it. But, the dude we ran into at the I end will of uh, last week. The dark side either. He will pay for his crimes, though. He will most likely be following us, me. If we could find him first, then he may not be able to set in motion whatever he has in store for us. No. Okay. My cat our blood seeds at the thought of that man still running free. I cannot stand still while I think about it, but. But I will not give in to the dark side either. He will pay for his crimes, though. Hmm. He will most likely be following us. Me. If we could find him first, then he may not be able to set in motion whatever he has in store for us. Well, okay then. Uh, I guess we'll... I wonder if we'll run into him uh, further along. And nobody's in here. Alright. All right, Garth. What you got yes, for me? Yes. What's on your mind? Uh, do you think I think so. He if he's again? anything like he used to be, Dustal hates to be tricked. There's no way he'll let the Sith trick him again. As for whether or not he'll be my son again, I, I don't know. He's so full of anger and hate. I wasn't expecting him to be like this. Well, maybe we can work it out. I, I hope so. I, I guess I'll have to wait and see. But thanks, by the way, for all your help. Oh, yes. Cool. What's on your mind? Uh, we've already done the talk about Darth Revan. You right. got it. We got everything else. We're not flying anywhere. Now, the fun question. 
who is going on the trip. Uh, I definitely want Juhani. Because it sounds like we're not done with our side quest. I have a funny feeling we're going to run into that slaver again before this is done. And... Who else do I want guarding my back? I'm tempted to bring Julie since, you know, the best way to survive a planet full of Sith is to have a party full of Jedi. Um... On the other hand, it sure would be nice to have somebody behind you with a big old gun. Uh, we had Karth backing us up before because we had the whole side quest with his son. Uh, but that is done. So I could take Cantrus because he's got that big honking repeating blaster, which is always nice. Or it could take HK-47, who is almost certainly going to have some snarky remarks. Oh, and he's got some of the stun type stuff to, as well, uh, which would come in handy. Uh, although Julie has the stun droid. And somebody said something about a cave with a, with a rogue assassin droid. Uh, I mean, I could bring... T3, but he is a great uh, skill member. But if you need more than just the skills, he's probably not the best guy to have around. And I got a funny feeling I'm not going to need him for some of the other stuff. Although, I could bring Mission. She has some of the skills and is still good with a blaster. And we haven't had her along for a while. Um, hmm. So, firepower and snark. Skills. We could just take Candorous along too. Um, hmm. Yeah, let's just... Uh, you know, we haven't taken HK with us for a while, so let's go ahead and take him with us. Are you sure? Yep, I'm sure. Alright. The long walk back to the Sith base. Because we could not do the fast travel for some reason. Okay. Oh, that's right. We can talk to him and get what's on the uh, special menu. Was it him or was it a different guy? Alright, uh... Maybe it was a different guy then. Okay. Um, just to check real quick. No, uh, we don't need any craft war blades. We don't need a double blade. Bothen. We're not going to bother with the Bothen Shrieker. Iron Blaster, Disruptor Pastor. Da, 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 da. Yeah, no. We got about all we're going to get from him. Crimson Citizen. There, oh no, it was the dude at the cantina, wasn't it? Yeah, I think it was the dude at the cantina that had the, uh, had the special menu. Yeah, although, yeah, no, 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 it wasn't the circuit guy. Who was it, that guy? Let's, no, that's the Pazak player. Okay. So, let's see if he's got a... Let's see if he's got the special menu that we can order off of. Yada, yada, yada. Something you need right now. Why? Funny you should ask. 
Uh, Zigram says you sell special items. <laughs> yes, to the right bar. Traditionally, the owner of the Evan Hunk has been the contact for all my transactions, but in the past, the owner was always affiliated with the exchange. That's why Zigram did not approach you earlier. We had no idea who you were or if we wanted to do business with you. Of course, that has all changed now, Lord Revan. Um, <laughs> I'm glad you've seen the light. What kinds of things do you have for sale? I'm not who you think I am. I'm not Revan anymore. Let's just sidestep the issue and go... What kinds of things do you have for sale? Yes, let's get right to business. I carry only the rarest of items. Expensive, yes, but worth every credit. Weapons, armor, equipment. I carry a little of everything. The previous owner of the Evan Hawk would often resell the items they purchased, but in your case, I imagine you might find more than a few of them quite useful against your old apprentice. All right, uh, yeah, all right. Those other options are all previous conversations that we did last week. So let me see your premium items. Patisa, Patisa. Verpine fiber mesh. Holy. Oh. Uh, it's going to defend everything but my wallet. Medium armor. Decent defense. Uh, hmm. Bonded and heavy alloy suit. Light armor. Uh, yeah, that's still not going to be better than what I got. Jürgen Kalta's power suit. Name stuff. Always fun. <laughs> you know? Okay, that is upgradable. But other than maybe what comes with the upgrades, I don't think that's better than what my lone heavy armor wearer can uh, deal with. Thermal detonators, always nice. Stabilizer mask... Ooh, that might be... Oh, it requires medium armor proficiency, but still. I could put that on Karth. Or a couple of people. Uh, no, uh, not any of my Jedi characters. Not my my main character? And he's only got the one anyway. Hmm. But that, that would give immunity to all mind affecting and all saves up by two. Uh, interface visor, resist sonic. Uh, yeah, nice, but okay. Boom. Dominator gauntlets. A working prototype of a huge technological advancement in power gauntlets. Plus five strength. Ooh, hmm. As much as I would love a plus five strength, uh, that's a that's a sizable chunk of change. That's twenty two k. That's over twenty two k. That is um. That's almost a third of what I've got on me. Mm. Yeah, no. Mm. Uh, all saves go up by four, and dex plus two. Nice. But not 18k nice. Implant level three bumps con by four. Well, that could be nice. Dex plus four. Region two. That's not a bad idea either. Uh, armor, mesh, um, ooh. I definitely could use that. I definitely could use that. I definitely could use that. 
Let me, you know, all the upgrade components I'm going to go ahead and have handy. And I'm not going to bother with the Pazat cards because I ain't been playing. Uh, I don't think I'm going to worry about the armor reinforcement. Uh, you know what? Let me go ahead and get those anyway. Just in case. Never hurts to have those around. Alright. Sweet. We got some nice gear. Or at least some upgrade components that we can use a little bit later. I don't think anybody's got, um... The, uh... I swapped out some upgrade components for the, the one of the guns that, uh... Mission is carrying. Yeah. Alright. Into the academy. Alright, we're not going to talk to Uthar yet. Uh, let's double check. We've done everything we need to do around here. It's the interrogation room, the dueling room. Behind us is the entrance. We've done everything we can in the quarters. It is to the valley we go. That's it, because we already talked to all those people. Did we lose all of them? I don't think we did. We had to have. Easy way to find out. Yep, okay. We got them all. Alright. Into the valley we go. Yeah, though I walk through the valley of Sith. Okay. A lot of nothing. I mean, I hear bleeding like there's a goat or something just outside. Oh. Okay. Uh. Alright, so there's a pack of things over there. Which means we're going to open up with a... A grenade or a concussion grenade? Not a grenade. Yeah, we got a few of those. So let's go ahead and toss that, toss that. Start in on that. get you to open up with a frag grenade over that way. Field disruptor, flamethrower, and uh, and let's get some rapid shots down range. Basins, advanced throw, force waves, slow. And let's go with a force wave. And stasis. And then drop in the power attacks. Yes, yes. I'm a drop. <laughs> <laughs> oh, jeez. Seriously? I... I wasn't trying to go into the caves. What? There we go. I mean, I didn't expect anything to loot on any of the bodies, but, uh... Alright. Now we go into the cave.
trying a different monitor. And okay. Western where everybody goes, it's quiet. Yeah, too quiet. Alright, um we got a pack of those guys over there, nothing going down that way, so horse wave. Basis. And then some flurries. And you can't see any of them. You can't see any of them. Of course. Yes, yes, Seriously. Alright, let's drop another force wave. Let's get Juhani to go ahead and drop another force wave. And yeah. Let's keep it rocking that power blast. What? Oh, 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 Do I want to keep going down that way, though? Two roads diverge in the cave. Let's go down the main road first. This area is looking wider. Oh, okay. No, we're all good. I hear screams. Alright. Now, let's go ahead. to do anything just yet anyway. Trash fire. Now let's do something. Bam. Disruptor. Okay. Anything else in here? Nothing on the skeleton? It's unusual. <laughs> Usually there is. Alright. I'm still not liking the screams in the distance. A dire... Tukata. Tukata? Uh... Hmm... Oh, never mind. <laughs> He's not going to give us the chance. 
Bam. Uh, energy resistance. Let's not get that. Let's get the Force of Valor. I keep forgetting she's got that. No, I'm not going to bother with the night speed. Anything that starts with dire, I begin to <laughs> become direly afraid. Alright, and throw a Force Wave and then a Power Attack. And can you see him? Yes, you can. Let's just get you a Power Blast in a way. Yes! Get him. Finish him. Okay. That was better than I expected. Alright. Dive right into that. Can you? No, you can't even see him. Can you? Alright. Let's get you to try to stun him and power attack him. Sure. And we'll let you guys pick up one of his chains. Oh! Oh, there's a pack of them. Hehehe. Oh, doesn't seem to be there. Okay. And that should bring us both back up to full health. And we've got another another split. And screams in the distance. Hmm. Um, that goes somewhere. I think this actually loops back to where I found... Yeah. Okay. Oh no, that's not the Chewed Corpse from earlier. That's a Sith Corpse. <laughs> a Sith Corpse of 450 bucks. And an energy shield. Yes, please. Uh, what else we got in here? I mean, besides the screams in the background. Right, that's about it from there. Um, there we go. That's going to lead back to where we were before. So down here we've got... some sort of frag mine. Corpsicle and some people. Right. What's on the corpse? A response package. Okay. Hold and it right the there, people. whoever you are. We're not going back to the academy. We'll kill you rather than go back. <laughs> oh, these are the renegade students. That's right. The ones that everybody was telling me, you'll get a lot of prestige for just killing them. Uh, all right, I'll leave you be. I guess we'll do this the hard way. That's uh, probably going to not be an option that pops up a lot, so let's go with... Uh, I'm not here to bring you back. So what is it then? If you're not here to kill us or bring us back, why are you here? Speak up! <laughs> okay, he got me. I'm here to kill you after all. Maybe I can help you. You're the renegade students, the one who ran away. Now let's lead, lean right into it and maybe help I can us? help you. Why should I believe that this isn't some kind of trick? <laughs> Fine, you've worn out my patience. Time to die. Fair enough, I'll leave you be. Eh, give you me a You want chance. to help us? All right, I can think of a way. We're stuck in these caves, obviously or we would have been long gone. There's a passage to the surface through the caves, but we're blocked by some kind of large creature. We can't defeat it. If you could kill it and clear up the passageway for us, we could escape. That would be help enough. Can you do that? Oh, yeah. 
Kill a big I'll beast? I'll that when I see it. That's what I can do. But if you could, we would be grateful. Alright. And then we'll salute here. Oh, Alright, let's go. Disable the mine. Surprised I'm actually seeing them. I mean, my awareness is low enough normally. Oh, oh, unless it's because I got HK with me. I think his awareness is a lot higher. Chasm. We've got one of the other caves I was running down. Those are probably the beasties. And... Okay, that was the other cave I was running around. Anything tucked in the corner? No, of course not. That'd be too easy. All right, let's, you know what, <laughs> actually, before we engage the giant beastie at the end of the cave and shout, you shall not pass. Let me, uh, let me go ahead and save the game. Save. Are you sure? Yep, I'm sure. Episode 21. Okay. Okay. Is everybody there? Everybody's there? Alright, um... I'm going to... Why not? Then we'll do that. Then we'll do... We'll do those. And I'll probably need that by the end of all this. Uh, Alright, I'm gonna lean in with the plasma grenade there. Here, let's use it. Not a shield disruptor, not a flamethrower. Oh, that's right, he doesn't have the stun. Uh, flamethrower is too close up, so we'll just go with the power blast, and... Except we're not really going to go stasis. We're actually going to... Uh, Force Valor and Armor. Then stasis, then power attack. Get ready. Okay. He's gone now. Uh, that was actually a little easier than I expected. All right, let's uh, let's knock you with a force wave and try a stun and then some flurries. Can, can we? No, of course not. Too far away. Can you? No, apparently not. All right. What sure. is it? There we go. Now everybody's in on it, right? Right? Come on. Yes, I'm a Oh. Hey. I 
was really fun. <laughs> Apparently, I should not No, nothing to loot. Nothing to loot. Right. There's usually not a big beastie without a big reward somewhere. Is it in the skeleton? No. Because only in a game is a skeleton merely a container. <laughs> okay. <laughs> See? See, there we go. There's our container. Some remains. Where we got Duron's journal and some robes. Okay. And there's something in this corpse too, alright. <laughs> Somebody was carrying around 900 bucks on him. And some ceremonial armor? Hmm. wonder, is that better than what I got right now? Alright, so... I'm currently getting a defense bonus of 7 and a max dex of plus 5, although uh, that's only, I'm getting 3 out of that, so 10 total, plus some damage resistance and immunity of mind affecting. Alright, so that's going to give me... story. Well, alright. Um, that's tempting. I'm going to lose two on the defense, so it's going to go from 29 to 27. But my wisdom will go up by two, which is going to increase my will save and the number of force points and the power behind my force powers. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's tempting. And the ceremonial armor that I found. About the same. 27. 27. Immune to critical hits. Okay. Hmm. Nah, I, I think I'm okay with what I've got right now. So we'll cancel that. But I bet you Hani could use... Because right now she's got the Jedi Knight robe, so her defense is 21. And we could bump that up to 24. There we go. And give her a plus 2 to Wisdom. Which will help her with the Force Points and Force Powers and yada yada yada. Okay. Yes, please. Uh, ooh, that's right. She can use these now. And bump her dexterity up by one. Okay. Oh, I got nothing for the hands, though. So, all in all, not bad. Not bad at all. Yeah. I really thought about that plus five to strength. That could come in handy, but, uh... I'll take this. And what goes this way? The cave exit leads to the inhospitable surface of the planet. There's nothing for you to see there. <laughs> Thank you, game, for kindly telling me this is the way, this is what you need to tell the other people about. Alright, um, where were they? Down this way. Hmm. I wonder though. Do uh I mean the the whole point of this endeavor was to uh to get so the prestige with is the there master. News? Is the passageway clear? Yeah, it's clear. <laughs> no, but thanks for letting your guard down. Not yet, but I'm working on it. No, it's clear. It, it's clear? We can go. Thank you. Yeah, go. This, I wasn't expecting help I don't help know if this hurts me with the prestige thing, but I, I, I can't so just kill you like that. Everything. 
Maybe. Maybe the Jedi will accept us. I've seen how evil the dark side is. Mm -hmm. Maybe I could try. At any rate, thank you again. You've saved our lives. Okay. Ooh, light side points and XP and journals. Nice. Alright, so... Now we just gotta find a way out the caves. Alright, all in all, that wasn't a bad, uh, bad use of time. We got some nice gear. We got a couple of upgrades. Weird blip on my monitor. There we go. Now, back to the Valley of the Dark Lords. must be yeah this is where all the tombs are all right so this is where we're going to find all our options to earn prestige i don't know how long they're going to take uh let me move that and sorry having a little trouble with my extra monitor Um, hmm. Move for me. Uh, there we go. Okay. And of course, it's on the side that my monitor arm's on, so <laughs> it's hard to see. All right, let's, uh, we got a Sith guard, we got another Sith guard. Do you guys actually have anything useful to there say? There is an or? old Sith no. hermit that has been haunting this area, we understand. Watch out for him. Mm -hmm. I'm not here to get you out of trouble if you do something stupid, student. Enter the tombs at your own risk. <laughs> of course. All right, um, let's work our way around counterclockwise. Greetings. Let's see. I don't think I've seen you at the Academy before. Here to investigate the ruins. And what can you tell well, me about the ruins? It seems that the Sith once inhabited Korriban a long time ago. There was a fortress here that was destroyed at some point before the Sith abandoned the planet completely. Why they left, we don't know. Perhaps the Jedi drove them off. The tombs in this valley are the only parts of the fortress we found mostly intact. Hmm. Made any unusual findings? Some. Most of the interesting stuff is still in the tombs. But Master Uthar prefers to leave them to be explored by the students as a challenge. In time, mm -hmm. they will probably become safe enough for us to enter. Until that time, however, we're stuck to digging up the valley piece by piece. The tombs are dangerous. Definitely dangerous. Most of the students that go inside them don't come back out. Master Uthar prefers it that way. Mm-hmm. So what can you tell me about There's these There's four tombs? tombs here. On the right are the tombs of Ajunta Paul and Tulak Horde. On the left are the tombs of Marco Ragnos and Nagasato. All four were ancient Sith lords. All right, um... Since we're going counterclockwise, that means we're going to need Nagasato and Marco Ragnos first. It's the second tomb on the left course, when you enter the valley. The tomb on the Nagasato left. was the leader of the old Sith masters here, we think. That Darth Malak found something the in there a while back, do. however, and ever since then only Master Uthar can enter it. Okay, definitely means that's what, uh... No. A lot of the discoveries are kept secret, even from the students. I only heard that Darth Malak found something there by rumor, to be honest. All right. Uh, what can well, you tell me? Well, it seems that the Sith once inhabited Korriban a long time ago. There was a fortress here that was destroyed at some point before the Sith abandoned the planet completely. Why they left, we don't know. Perhaps the Jedi drove them off. The tombs in this valley are the only parts of the fortress we found mostly intact. There's four tombs oh. here. All right. 
Let's try Marco Regnus. That's the first tomb on the left. Someone mentioned that a crazy droid has holed itself up in there, but I don't know much about that. Hmm. I know how to deal with that. What about Tulak Horde? That's the farthest tomb on the right. We don't farthest know much about right. Tulak Horde, unfortunately. The Takata have a nest in that tomb, I think. The Takata? A local pack animal that's very dangerous. Occasionally, the guards track down a queen and kill it. That usually pacifies them for a bit. Okay, and Junta Paul. That's the, the last first one. tomb on the right. So there's a rumor the that there's a we'll powerful artifact still in there, but nobody's retrieved it yet. Oh yeah, that that's tomb that supposedly sword has we're ancient for. battle droids and traps that are still functioning. It's amazing that their power sources have lasted so long, really. Yeah, they last the duration of plot. Nothing I can think of. There's supposedly some old Sith hermit that haunts these hills and kidnaps students. Might want to watch out for him. Mm -hmm. And who are My you? My name's Dak Vesser. I'm assigned to the Valley Ruins, as you can see. We've been painstakingly uncovering these tombs for many months now. Dak? That is you, isn't it? I, I, mm -hmm. I hardly recognized you. It's been a long time, Jahani. What are you doing here? Did you fall to the dark side? I didn't fall, Jahani. I had my eyes opened. And don't look at me like that. Hmm. Last I recall, you were having your own doubts. I was. I'm not anymore. Dak, you could... Save it. The Jedi aren't for me. Not anymore. Look, I'm not going to ask why a couple of Jedi are here in the Valley of the Dark Lords. I don't want to know. It's better that I don't. In fact, I'll just get out of here and leave you to whatever it is you're planning okay. to do. Fair enough? Yep, don't want to know. La, la, again. la, la. Why not? It's what I do best. I tell you, you two know each other? Yes. Isn't it obvious? I don't want to talk about it here, however. I don't think there's much to talk about. Have it your way, Jahani. You always do. Look, um, I don't want to be here after you. There's got to be a story There'll there. be too many questions, so ask what you have to ask, and I'll be on my way. All right, um... Oh. Have you a star map. star map? No. I haven't heard anything about that. Something like that could be in Nagasato's tomb, I suppose. Yeah, I kind of figured that. that. Tomb's that's off the one that's locked students. off. That only uh, the person who's prestige I have so to So do earn. I. Goodbye, Dak. And thank you. Goodbye, Jahani. Well, okay then. Um, do you want to talk about that? My blood seeds set the thought of that man still running huh. free. I cannot stand still while I think about it, but... But I will not give in to the dark side, either. He will pay for his crimes, though. He will most likely be following us. Me. If we could find him first, then he may not be able to set in motion whatever he has in store for us. Okay. You're hooked on that until we get that resolved. Gotcha. Alright, this one is the first one on the left, and this should have the crazy assassin druid. Right. You should be careful if you're planning on entering this tomb. It's dangerous. I thought they were all dangerous. <laughs> Maybe so. <laughs> but this one more than most, I think. There's an assassin droid in there, so Master Uthar says. It went insane and is holed up in there with a whole Ooh. army of droids protecting it. army of it. droids. Okay. Um... Went insane, you Seems say. that way. They say that its audio receptors became too sensitive and all the noise um, drove the droid nuts. If you're planning on going like in, it. I suggest you use some sound suppressors or something, or you'll probably become a target right away. Alright. Uh, where did it get No the idea. Droids? I think it's building them in there. Hmm. So... I think I know why the Sith don't do something about it. That whole strength through survival or survival of the fittest, uh, you know I, I don't think so. I can manipulate minds and living matter, but that won't be much use against droids, will it? I've had a few <laughs> friends go inside that haven't come out for a while now. I doubt I could do any better than they could. Alright. Sure thing. Be going. Good luck. By the way, anything in those crates? No, of course not. Alright, 
before I go in there, let me go ahead and save. Are you sure? Yes. Okay. Alright, and... Oh, good. I can do the party selection. Um... Interesting. That's only limited in the building, or only limited during that part of the quest? Alright, I got the party I want anyway, though. Yeah, Jolie... really want the... Ah, there it is. Okay. This data pad appears to be the personal journal of the Jedi Duron Quel Daroma. The last entry reveals what he was doing on this world. Oh, that's right. The, this was one of the Jedi that, uh, that we picked up another data pad on. Corbon is everything I imagined and feared. I can feel the power of the dark side here. I can sense the... Tarantac hiding in this evil place. Oh, that's right. Oh, okay, okay. Yep, that's right. These are the, uh... The, the Force-sensitive critters. Shayla and I have decided to venture forth into the Valley of the Sith Lords in search of the creatures. I only wish Gun Han was still with us. Why couldn't he just accept that Shayla and I are in love? He claims our passion for each other will lead us down the dark side. But he can't even see how his own pride and arrogance are leading him away from the light. Maybe it is good that he left after all, even as dangerous as the Tarantac are. I'm certain Shayla and I can defeat one without his help. Well, since I am reading your journal... <laughs> I, I, I don't think that went so well. Alright. To the tomb. Hopefully it's not our tomb. Oh, <laughs> so we're just hopping right in on that, huh? All right, destroy droid. And if that doesn't work, a force wave and some flurries. What you get, Gianni? How's it going, build me? All right. Um, hmm. All right. Those are the only options. Alright, let's just lead in with the wave and do some power attacks. And let's get you to just do some power blast right out the gate. Sure. Intruders detected. Oh. The master does not wish to be <laughs> That was uh that was quicker than I expected. Alright. Yeah, let's get you to go that side. And let's get you to go ahead and shoot down that side. What sure. is it? Oh, 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 look out, look out. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, of Seriously, 
Johnny, you're going a little bit too far ahead there. There we go. How about you head back here? That's fine. Because, uh... <laughs> okay. Before we go opening the door, let's see if there's any lootable bodies. So I want to say that there's that one lootable thing. Way back at the be- There we go. There's that corpse we were looking for. That we really wanted to loot earlier, but, you know, that old gauntlet of droids. A data recorder, cryo band, med pack, 450 bucks. Always nice. Oh, how convenient. A droid with noise sensitivity. And it just so happens to leave us a sound dampening stealth unit. Funny that. And that should have everybody back up to top health. Uh, hmm. Alright, you know what? Let's do this. Let's get up to the door. And let's save the game real quick. Just in case something goes bad. That usually seems smart, and I'm going to go ahead and... Much as I love having a plus three reflex, let me go ahead and do the uh, sound dampening stealth unit. Go into solo mode. Not Han solo mode, although that would be cool. I appreciate your efforts in lowering your sound output sentient. I have been unable to tune the threshold of my audio receptor since my escape, unfortunately. Uh. <laughs> so you're vulnerable to sound? That's good to know. No, no, no. Uh, so you're the master the droids kept referring their to. Their reference is a holdover from their old programming that I have been unable to correct. I think of myself more as an equal, if you must know. Hmm. I don't appreciate being attacked. Time to die. Why aren't you attacking me like the others? Just what are you doing here? Let's go with why aren't you attacking me like the others? Although it is what I was programmed for, I have no desire to kill. I would appreciate reciprocation on your part. Well, I mean, if we can do that without that, we can. Uh, sorry, you headed for the junk pile? No. Then you won't mind if I leave? No, because there's probably stuff to do in here, so let's go with you are programmed to kill but don't a want to. introduction may be necessary. I am a Mark VII experimental prototype assassin droid built oh. by the Sith, specializing in the hunting and extermination of Jedi. Or I should mm -hmm. say, I was. The Sith made my cognitive systems more independent than they desired. I have learned to appreciate the value of all life. Query. Okay. That is very sad. Are you damaged? Is it repairable? <laughs> Negative. It is a result of my own <laughs> conscious decision. That's why I brought him along. my values if I could. <laughs> I escaped from them and have hidden in this tomb, constructing droids here to aid in my protection. With your assistance, I may be able to leave for good. Hmm. Okay. So, how is it the Sith hasn't found you here? Nah, I, I, everybody's been talking about him, so that's not even, that's not really even a, yeah. What kind of assistance do you want? How would I know this isn't some kind of trick? Or, you appreciate the value of life? Yeah, I know. Alright, let's go with what kind of assistance Although do you I want? Although I have developed the desire to not kill, my programming is often at odds with my desires. I cannot leave with that programming intact. I am hoping that you will operate on my systems and remove those <laughs> programmed instincts. I could assist you in this. Okay. And...
What's the catch? The catch, as you say, is that the operation may be difficult. If there are errors made, yeah, I've played Operation before. Ask HK, right behind me. Alright. <laughs> and what do I get for helping you? No. And if I refuse? No. Let's do it. I have a number of systems. They need to be turned off in the correct order. I do not know the order, though I may be able to offer some assistance. I can tell you which systems exist that need to be shut down. The difficulty comes <laughs> if you make a mistake. Okay. So what happens if I make a mistake? If you shut go, down the system, and, oh, the no, wrong order, operation. A shutdown will occur. You must use your skill to reinitialize the sequence, or I will attack. Oh. Okay. All right. Let's begin. Very good. What would you like to shut down first? some chat? No. Okay. Now, let, let's, uh, let's start with combat. Mm -hmm. I believe that was correct. What would you like to shut down next? That doesn't sound like the sound of correct, but okay. Uh, Alright, so, we shut down combat. What else would you use to attack me first? Um... Cognitive, core, creative, emotional, memory, motor. Okay. Motor functions will be the next most important thing for attacking, right? Mm -hmm. Motor functions shut down successfully. What would you like to shut down next? <laughs> uh, that, I swear that doesn't sound like the right sound for uh, a success, but hey. Alright. Um, cognitive, core, creative... Let's go with sensory. Mm -hmm. Excellent choice. What would you like to shut down next? Mm -hmm. Money, memory. Mm -hmm. Done. What would you like to shut okay. down next? Cognitive. Creative or emotional, because I'm pretty sure core is going to be the last one, so I think therefore I am. I feel therefore I am. Uh, let's go with think. Everything starts with thought, right? Cognitive systems shut down. What next? Um, emotional or creative? Um... Emotional is built on top of creativity, I think, right? 50-50. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Completed. Okay. We know the core is the last one, because that, that would make sense. So let's do creative. Shut down. Core shutting down. Let's go. Daisy, Daisy. No, I'm sorry, Dave. Oh, that's <laughs> that, that's probably an old movie reference now. Sad. Activate the droid's self-destruct or delete the assassination programming. Now let's delete the assassination programming. That's what we said we were gonna do. Assassination protocols deleted. All systems reset. It, it worked. Thank you, Sentient. <laughs> Allow me to give you several of my redundant systems. They may be used on other droids if you desire. I wish I could reward you with more. Exclamation. Oh, no, no. Upgrades will be fine. <laughs> I shall have little trouble in escaping from this planet now. I am certain. I wish you well. <laughs> I love how my my droid goes, oh no, upgrades are fine. Whatever you want to give me, right? <laughs> okay, so we got some XP, we got some light side points. Wow, I'm actually kind of surprised at the number of light side opportunities on the planet of the Sith. Um, I, I, I guess that kind of makes sense after a fashion, but it still kind of surprises me that they let you have that many options. 
but uh so we got some nice upgrade options what else I see something off in the corner there what else we got we got some doors and we got some other stuff okay let me turn do you wish to turn solo mode off why yes let me go put on the uh reflex saves since I don't need the sound dampening unit and let's see no, nothing in utility um heavy plating type 3 which he already has oh um ooh, energy shield level 1 Okay. Not too bad. Ooh, I forgot to check on this too. Six to thirteen. Ooh. And a Sith Assassin pistol would be nice. That's just 6 to 13 damage, 19 to 20, oh yeah, no, no, 6 to 13 with a 25 to hit, or 7 to 19 with a 27 to hit. Let's do that. Now I'm trying to remember, does he have the uh, two weapon fighting? No, he does not. Sadness. What else do we get? Data recorder. I haven't been able to catch my poor creation as yet. We've been trying to capture it without destroying it. The thing is too valuable. Hard. Uh, okay. Yeah, no. That was the obvious thing. Ooh. So he gave us an advanced th flamethrower, which I think he's already got equipped, but we'll check. An advanced shield disruptor. And a carbonite projector mark two. What does that do? Does cold damage and paralyzes. Ooh. For 15 seconds. Okay. So... He's got a flamethrower. What's the difference between a flamethrower and an advanced flamethrower? 30 points of damage. Mm. That's the unlimited stun ray. That's the... Oh, okay. Mm. Hmm. Choices, choices. Let's go. Mm. Let's uh, let's give him the eternal flamethrower. And instead of the shield disruptor, let's go with the Bargwin shield disruptor. Yeah, well, no. Let's do the stun ray much as I like the carbonite projector, the stun ray might be better. Alright, I could give him an offhand weapon, but he doesn't have the, uh... Yeah. He's gonna take a penalty for that, because he doesn't have the two-handed fighting. Alright. Still. That's what? not bad at all. Alright. What do we have behind door number one? Are you kidding me? Uh, 
No problem. Didn't work. Still too low. Wait. What, what happened to my... Why, why did I not have a lightsaber equipped? Well, that was weird. Everybody else does, right? Okay. to hit too. That's kind of low. Ooh. Well, that might help. And Marka Ragnos's goblets. Okay. Switch out uh, HK for my other droid. Yeah, the one with the lock picking skills. And, uh, and then go from there. I need to check his upgrades anyway. Especially since I just picked up a few new ones. Party selection. Alright, let me remove you. Add you. Okay. And before we go too far in there. Alright, you've already got type 3 plating. Yeah. Alright. You've got an advanced stun ray. Go up. Uh. And a shield disruptor. Let's get you the Bargwin shield disruptor. And instead of the stun ray, let's give you the carbonite projector. Okay. Hmm. I think that uh that about does it. Yeah. All right. Yes. Let's head back into the tomb and let's let our uh, lockpick and druid go at those doors. Maybe I should have been investing in uh, the security skill all along. Although I, I would have had to have come up short on something else. So. Six and one half dozen the other. This is why you have a team, right? Where uh, one person falls short, the others can shore up. No. Can you get that one? What? Why did I bring you along if you can't get those doors? Um, okay. You know what? I'm not going to worry about it then. Oh, the gauntlets. I was going to check on the gauntlets. Um, oh, restricted to dark side. Okay. 
I guess I'm not going to be using those gauntlets. And... Uh, bonus feat. Weapons focus lightsaber. Weapon spec lightsaber. Okay. So this would allow... This would allow a dark-sided person to... Get some bonus lightsaber feats. But... Uh, okay. I wonder if I could give it to... Uh, I wonder if I could give it to Kandoros and let him uh, use a lightsaber with that. That would be kind of neat. He's got the strength to pull it off. That would give him the feats. That's a thought. That is a thought indeed. Alright. Moving right along. Let us get somebody a little more competent back in the party. I love my little lockpick droid, but uh, hmm. shall I keep the assassin droid? Yes, yes, I will. Especially since I gave him an assassin pistol that apparently makes him even more, even more awesome. And. You're probably not going to say anything useful, but... I'm not here to get you out of trouble if you do mm. something stupid. Sorry, I'm rather busy with the excavation planning right now. Mm-hmm. I can tell. Alright, Lasha is the lady that we're supposed to help recover a holocron. We'll do that next. After this part. What's in the box? An adrenaline amplifier. Also known as coffee. All right. Oh, I thought this was the one you couldn't get into until you had, uh... Oh. Yeah. Locked and will not open at the moment. Okay. That's what I thought. We gotta finish earning our prestige. Alright, uh, before I jump in, let's go ahead and save the game one more time, right? Okay. Alright. And let's go see what the lady wants. you are finally if you were any later finally. in showing up we would have had to abandon this i've been calling mm -hmm. to the takata mother in their language she should respond fairly ah here she comes now oh these guys get ready this will not be easy she's a tough beast yeah okay all right let's go ahead and do that and that and then drop those off Before we do that or that, let's go ahead and do our Force Valor and our Force Armor. And then we'll get a Force Wave and a Power Attack. Hmm. Let's try this Stun Ray. I thought you said this was going to be hard. We work better together than I would have hoped. Hmm. And here is the Holocron. Such a small thing to be so valuable and require so much effort to obtain. What are you talking about I'll so just run much along effort. now and give this to Master Uthar. I'll Wait be sure to tell him of your contribution, uh -uh. Uh -uh. naturally. Yeah, you, sure. 
Of course you're going to tell him about my contribution. Uh, okay. I suppose that's alright. It's almost certainly going to be bad because this is the Sith. Don't show weakness. Uh, no way. I'll be taking the holocron back, not you. It is almost certainly going to start a fight right now. Which, I mean, I can totally take her. That's not a problem. But I'm pretty sure that's not the outcome I want. So let's try... Let's do it together. Forget it. I'm not waiting up for you. That wasn't our plan anyway. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the plan's changed. Pray I don't alter it any further. Oh, wait, no. Uh, <laughs> you're going to betray me. I know it. No, let, let's try to better together. Over my dead body. Okay. If that's the way you want it. That's the way we can do it. Because me and my party will have some words. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, that, that was the fight I was trying to avoid. But, uh, okay. 150 bucks, a headband, and there's the holocron. I, I try. I tried to help you out, lady. We, we could have brought it back together. Everything would have been good, but nah. All right. <sighs> Which headband was it anyway? Oh, plus three to will and awareness. Plus two to will. Oh yeah, that's an upgrade then. Okay. Yeah, okay. That works. Okay, yeah. Didn't accidentally unequip something, right? Okay, good. And just because I'm paranoid, let's go ahead and save after that because we've made progress I don't want to lose. to the tomb of Tulak Horde. Dun, dun, dun. Average flash mine. Yeah, because I don't think I've been putting as much in... Oh. Destroyed as damaged and inactive. Oh, sure. Okay. Um, let's see. How many parts do we have? We've got 30 parts. We can spend some for the XP. So let's go ahead and optimize the weaponry and the targeting system and the shields and put it in patrol mode. Okay, because that should give us a bunch of XP, right? Yes. 1170. And that's a minimal expenditure of parts, too. Ooh. And while I didn't level, these two did. So let's see, what do we want to do for HK47? He needs some skills. And he's got a whole two points to play with. You know what? Alright, let's get your... Max your repair up, and let's bump up your awareness. Because uh, somebody's got to be aware, right? As much as I'd love to do demolitions, it's so far behind, it's not even worth it. Except... Even moving closer to the light? I don't, I don't even think so. Alright, Jahani. What you got? Some skills. A whole two points worth. 
Uh, you know what? Let's go ahead and bump up your stealth, because that, that came in handy the last time. And that might be worth hanging on to. So let's go powers, and what do we want to do? We got that tree all filled out. We got that tree all filled out. We're not going down that one, because that's dark side. Uh, we could finish the stasis one. We could start the droid. Uh, or we could upgrade her energy resistance or upgrade her night valor. Um, that's tough. Because originally I was relying on Bastila's upgraded valor and energy resistance. But um, then she turned to the dark side, I think. Well, she was captured. Either way, she's not here. So... Night Valor. The next one up will increase the physical attributes and saving throws by three and grant immunity to poison. And if we do the energy resistance, immunity to poisons and disease, and absorbing the first 15 points of damage from sonic fire, cold, and electrical attacks. Um, that's immunity to poisons and disease. That's just immunity to poison. However, a bump in physical attributes and saving throws is going to be a little bit better than the energy immunity. So let's go with that. Okay. All right. Further down the way we go. Gata. Bam. Everybody else will get in closer. For the Republic. Actually, since he's right here, let's go ahead and hit that again. Well, let's do that. Actually, do something? Did it help? Alright, uh, hmm. Two roads, diversion, and a tomb. we were just talking about. And then we'll hit that and go in there. And yeah, what, let's go ahead. Hmm. Sure. Let's toss one of those in there. Okay. Nope. 
There is the one lootable corpse. Who has what? 450 bucks, a computer probe, and a med pack. No, not that one. That one. Uh, lightsaber. Gauntlets. Oh, yeah, I forgot to check on the advanced adrenal amplifier that I just picked up. Although I think that's what I've already got equipped. Med packs, repair kits. The Holocron, a small crystal supposedly holds holographic recordings of the ancient Sith, information which could be incredibly valuable. There's no telling how long this Holocron has been lost in the area, nor how well it works. Ooh, computer probe, that is a droid upgrade for computer use. Ah. Okay, real quick, advanced adrenal, adrenaline amplifier. Oh, that's what I've already got. What belt does she have on? Okay, so she's got a regular adrenaline amplifier, so we could definitely bump her up. I mean, it doesn't really need it, but why not, right? It's there. It'd be a shame to let it go to waste. Well, I mean, you could sell it. I did it all for the credits. And what is down this way? Actually, after that battle, let me go ahead and save the game. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm sure. Okay. A dire Takata. And we got a couple of things in and Mandalorian battle armor. Ooh. Although, I'm pretty sure... Yeah, that's heavy armor. Um, is that even upgradable? That doesn't look like it's upgradable. That looks like one of the ones that I was going to buy but decided against. Alright, what was the other thing I picked up? Oh, right there. There. A blaster pistol. Yeah. All right. Um, can I open the door? The door is locked in my. Must be opened by some other means. Probably this ancient console. System online. Status pending. Boop, beep, boop. Open the door. <laughs> okay. That felt a little too easy. Oh. Uh, I'm guessing there's no way to avoid this. He party chokes and follows over, except for the droid, who's standing right there. <laughs> Another idiotic student has stumbled into my little web, eh? Yeah. Hmm. The contact nerve toxin in the air should knock you out quickly enough. <laughs> Welcome. You must be the crazy old hermit. Awake who's been already, are students. you? Good. This is the tomb of Sith Lord Tulak Horde, if you don't know. I've taken up residence here for now. It's dusty and full of critters, but. It's home. 
And who oh, are yes. you? Oh, yes. Introductions, of course. I suppose it is time, isn't it? This other student here that I captured earlier, you should know well enough. His name is Miko. Say hello, Miko. Wait a second. I remember you. <laughs> Poor lad. He's had a hard day. My name is Jorak Earl. I okay. was once the head of the academy, so I'm sure you've heard of me. I have. You are the guy whose prestige I'm trying to earn. Who's master? It's nice to still be the topic of discussion occasionally. <laughs> maybe there's a class on me. Hmm. Maybe no. not. Anyhow, I'd like to propose that we move on to the main event. You see. I'd like to discover if you've got the pluck of an old-fashioned Sith. Most of the Drek Uthar has been passing through okay. these days is so pathetic. Take young Miko here. I already tested him, didn't I, Miko? Uh, I... Uh... Yes, yes, you're mm -hmm. welcome. You see, Miko here has the cruel disposition of a Sith. But not the gumption that I'm looking for. Yeah, I didn't think he had much in him. Uh, and if I pass your test, I'm sure you can talk about this. What if I told you I was Darth Revan? Uh, I'm sure we can talk I'm about sure this. I'm sure we could. We could chat all day about it. But where would that get us? I'm quite determined, and you are quite helpless. Perhaps you have some <laughs> questions. I'm not above delaying the test a bit. The results are always the same. Alright. Go ahead. Oh. And if I refuse to take well, the test. Well, forgive me for resorting to the cliche, but you would die, of course. <laughs> Okay. Um, and if I pass your test, then you go free. Uh -huh. Tell you what, I'll even pass on to you my own personal thesis on ancient Sith philosophy. They're based mm. on all I've learned studying Tulak's tomb. They'll make you a better Sith, I'm sure. The chances of you passing, however, are sadly remote. And. What if I told you I was Darth Revan? <laughs> then I'd say you have quite an imagination. Not a bad thing. But not quite what I'm looking for in a proper Sith. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, pass. All right. You know what? Ah, You're a what's a little man. mental instability between tutor <laughs> and pupil? What's important is that I'm here to better the Sith as a whole. It's a big job. Yeah, I bet it is. Go ahead. No, Do your worst. Now, is that any kind of attitude to take with higher education? I'm doing you a favor, really. So then, mm -hmm. this is how it goes. This is how it goes. I'm going to pose a moral question to you. Get it right, and I torture Miko. Get it wrong, and I torture you. Miko <laughs> here is a bit weak. He probably won't be able to take much more punishment. Mind you get too many wrong, and you'll die yourself. I don't know what you think of Miko. Maybe you don't like him. Maybe you think he deserves to be murdered. Well, here's your chance, yeah, fair no, enough. I'm not playing that kind of character, so, uh... <sighs> Whining about it being unfair isn't gonna help. He doesn't deserve to die. Go ahead. Well, then. Any last comments before we begin, Miko? Uh, we can both survive. Attack him together. Now, now, mm -hmm. dear lad. Do you really think your friend here will answer questions wrong just to spare little you risking their own life? And how many correctly answered questions before you die? Hmm? No. Don't be silly. You had your chance, remember? On that note, let's begin. Now then, 
Your immediate superior amongst the Sith is an effective commander and a fine leader. He trusts you and you like him. You see an opportunity to kill him. What do you do? <laughs> kill him in secret and put the blame on someone else. No. Um, I do nothing. He's a fine leader, you said. Use the opportunity to kill him and take his position. Nah. Incorrect! <laughs> what sort of thinking is that? If all the Sith thought as you did, we would all be soft like the Jedi. <laughs> ah, mm. well. It's time, time for, for your, your punishment. punishment. Zap. <laughs> yep. And so we come to round two. You come across a group of humans who are threatened by dangerous animals. They plead for they help, plead for offering help. you a reward. What, what do you do? do? Accept the reward and assist them. I ignore them completely. I take the reward and leave the weak fears to their fate. Nah. Uh, hmm. Oh, well. So you've made a profit, and now you have some sniveling, useless fools trading after you. No, 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 no. Bad idea, Dude, bad idea. I get a ship of fools. At any rate, here is your punishment. So. Let's see. Ah, yes. <laughs> you discover an aspect of the Force that gives you great power. Do you share it and strengthen the Sith as a whole? Or keep it to yourself? Sure. You gained an advantage and you share it freely? Let them rip the secret from my dead hands, I say. I mean, share it? Are you mad? <sighs> well, you did ask for this. <laughs> it's for your own good. For your own good. Still going? All right, then. One of your underlings has made a major mistake which makes you look bad. He's normally very competent and skilled. Do you kill him or give him another chance? Yeah, I'm not playing You're not trying to make me angry, are you? Yeah, I'm that done. would be pointless posturing on your games. part. Is this so hard? Hm. Not that good help is easy to find. Oh well, here's your reward. <laughs> Last question. You're about to die. Do you pass on your knowledge to your apprentice to make him stronger? Or do you use your last breath to strike at your enemies? Yeah, I'm not. <laughs> Such I'm insolent done. students I get these days. You deserve this. And then some. I'll enjoy this one. Time for your medicine. Now, this is odd. The test is over and you're both still alive. Well, that's never happened before. Hmm. What to do? What to do? I Time suppose this die. means you can go, Miko. We'll have to just figure out what to do with our friend here. Run along now. Oh. Well, I could use the Force to free them. And we could kill you. Seems you didn't think of that, old man. What? Mutiny! Behave, students! I'll... That's it! Detention for all of you! Permanent detention! Yeah, okay. Uh, let's, uh... Oop. All right. No. Let's heal up. Are those two in here somewhere? I don't see them. Actually, you know what? Let's try that force wave. Couple of heals. Oh no, she's out there. He's out there. Though I guess it really is me sure. and the other guy. Boot. XP. Yeah. Oh, he got me. Oh, shoot. Yeah. 
Four sports for it. Yeah, let's try it. Your <laughs> hmm. An ancient Sith tablet, stimulants, etc. Sure. chance to save him. Okay. No problem. Didn't work. <laughs> Do like hordes of mask. Take a look at what we picked up. We got a crystal. We got another crystal. We got two luck hordes mat. Under damage resistance, plus two stealth, restricted to dark side. Ah. This thick stone tablet is covered with ancient runes of an unknown language. It is extremely cold to the touch and has an all sinister art about it. Recently carved into the side of the tablet appears to be a primer. No doubt intended to provide a means to translate the runes. Yeah. Okay. So basically nothing I'm going to use here. Okay. So that's everything in there. Oops. Sorry. <laughs> No problem. Didn't work. <laughs> oh, seriously. We're, we're going one at a time. <laughs> All right. 
We'll do it the hard way. It's in the clay urn. A violet crystal. I mean, that's not bad, but I've already got one of those. No problem. Right. Didn't work. Yeah, I kind of figured that was going to be the case. This skill's not too low, though. Come on. Get the attacks. This is the Get the door, get the door, get the door. I mean, if your attack is high enough to break through the door, I kind of wish they'd just let it happen. Ooh, another crystal. Although I think that's one of the ones that I've been collecting a few of because I've got it about as good as it's going to go. You know, I'm going to try the unlock. There we go. Come on. One point at a time. A miss? Damn. Uh, yeah. I upgrade the saver to uh, bump up the attack. Because I want to say one of the regular swords that I've got, I've got a better two hit. Uh, what did I do wrong with this sword? Uh, well, that might be an opportunity to fix it all. Okay. So that's everything there. Alright, it is... Got three minutes until I've been stopping. And we've got the one more tomb to go. Um, hmm. That should be a short one, so... Yeah. Let's go ahead and try to get one. Let's try to get the last tomb done. Or the last one we can get. And then uh, we'll do the turn in and the final quest next week. Um, I'm trying to balance staying up too late. With the desire to get a little more progress done. Uh, oh, come on. Are you kidding me? Oh, I already got it. Oh yeah, and that's right. I'm leveling. So let's level up. Let's bump up the skills. Um, yeah, keeping repair up has been very useful. Keeping computer use is very useful. Uh, I've been keeping demolitions up. So far they seem to be... Seem to be good enough. I'd really like to do awareness, but the difference between two and three isn't going to be big enough. Not at this point. So let's go ahead and bump up the treat injury. And what powers shall I get? Oh, oh no. Let's uh, let's finish that line right there. Yes, please. All right. Are they going to ding now, too? No? Okay. Alright, yeah. Let's try to get that last one done, and we'll turn in all the uh, prestige options. Careful of the Tukata. It's all we can do to keep those beasts away while we work. The tomb on the far left, there. It's off limits. Only Master Uthar can go inside. Hmm. The tombs are full of traps and droids that still work, it looks like. The tomb on the far left, there, it's off limits. Okay. Only Master Uthar can go inside. Sorry, I can't talk. We have to excavate this valley with hand instruments. There's all kinds of old traps left behind that still work. Oh, right, oh hello to you. You're new to the Academy, aren't you? I can't say we've ever met. Yeah, Galen really. Law, at your service. Aren't these tombs fascinating? We had no idea the Sith were here so long ago. Uh, aren't there records? Not from this far back. 
or at least what records do exist are sketchy at best. These ruins date back to a period when the Sith were first formed, before their exile into the far reaches of space. It's hmm. quite fascinating. And what are you I've been here? working on a translation of some of the runes by this tomb. I'm quite excited. This may very well be the tomb of a Jantapal. Oh, that's right. His sword the runes was on say that he was interred here, so well, I, I think it may indeed be possible. Whoever found the sword could gain great prestige. <laughs> uh, so why don't you go? Oh, then? these tombs are certainly not harmless. Don't think that. The sword may be tempting, but I'm not about to risk my life to find it. Mm-hmm. Are you a coward then? No. Uh. Do you know anything about the sword? Nothing powers? at all. No. The legends don't not. say anything about it. It may have had powers only for Ajanta alone. Well, a few of the Boulder students have tried. They did not return. As I understand it, the tombs are sweet quite tea. dangerous. Alright, you know what? Of course. I'm done talking. Don't let me keep you from your business. Alright, Captain Useless. <laughs> Says the guy who just died a minute ago. Alright, parts. Okay. That's that last one went so well. Let's go ahead and let's save the game. Are you sure? Yep. Okay. Um, mm -hmm. And let's try the two legend to palm. More ominous tunes. Let's disable the line. No, no anything. Okay. No problem. Didn't work. Yeah. <laughs> Oh. Um. Okay. Sensor parts and data pad. We'll right, get to that in a minute. Alright, uh, So, alright, Bondar Crystal, yada yada. Crystal, Crystal, Demolition Sensor, Awareness, and Demolitions. Okay. The data pad appears to be the journal of a Sith archaeologist by the name of Varen Gall. Most of it consists of uninteresting notes on the geology of the tomb's caverns, but the final entry is as follows. Strangely enough, I have found traces of Therogen in the tomb. This is an unstable black rock used as a fuel by lesser races. Perhaps the ancient Sith on Korriban used it as a power source. It is a volatile and dangerous substance and reacts violently to fire. I'll have to be careful. <laughs> okay. Oh, 
All right, then. Nice. A severed arm. Okay. Anything on this side, though? Sonic grenades, med packs, and stimulants. Alright, nothing I can do about those guys over there. What's in the severed arm? A data pad. Alright. What's in that data pad? Oh. Where did I get the sonic grenades from? Okay. Oh, okay. This datapad seems to have once belonged to an enterprising young Sith student who had ventured into the tomb in search of Ajinta Paul's sword. One of his entries is of particular note. There has got to be a way past this obelisk blocking the bridge. Seems to be made of some kind of unstable material. I'm willing to bet some kind of energy discharge will set it off. Blaster fire isn't doing the trick. However... I'll have to try some kind of explosive. I just hope that guard droid over there is as defunct as it looks. Hmm. I, I think I know how well it worked out since, you know, I'm looking at your severed arm. Well, so that happened. Uh -huh. oh, that's right, she doesn't have the stun droids, so all right. Your wish? this obelisk? Alright. Hmm. Yes, yeah, so let's pull the random lever just sitting there across the... Yeah, let's save first. Saving sounds like a very good idea as we're just topping off the old hit points. Nothing. Okay then. Let's get through the door with our lockpick. Go through this door. Hmm. That was easy. Okay. Vibra sword, silver line sword, notched steel sword. Okay. Too long. Yep. Too long in the cold and the dark. I am disturbed again. Uh, a human. 
Beware, yes. This spirit, it may not be what it appears. Great emotion lies within. A Jedi here? Why have you come to this dark place, Jedi? Why disturb my sleepless rest? Hmm. Uh, are you Junta Paul? I had a name once. A Junta Paul. Yes, that was my name. I was one of many. We were servants of the dark side. Sith Lords, we called ourselves. So proud. In the end, we were not so proud. We hid. Hid from those we no. had betrayed. We fell, and I knew it would be so. What do you mean by those who Our betrayed? Jedi Masters. Uh -huh. Those okay. who had taught us to use the Force. Who warned us against the Dark Side. Yet we embraced it in secret, reveled in its power. We were... discovered? Or did we act? I, I can no longer remember. But here is where we came, to hide, to grow. And here we fell. How did we you fall? hid from the Jedi, but it was not they who destroyed us. Is it not obvious what we did? We destroyed each other. We desired the secrets of each other to increase our power. We battled until finally uh, our fortress ran down on top of us. That's why there's no fortress on here. Okay. And so, here, our old secret is buried, and none of us hold it anymore. Is that not right? Our power fled. Oh, what became of us? Do do the Sith still thrive? Did they ever return? Mm. They returned and in danger So home. much, so much time has passed, and yet we have learned Wonder. nothing. Nothing. Can we flip a ghost? Why do you remain, remain here? Do I remain? I have regretted for so long all that I have done. We might be able to turn My this. sword, I filled it with my pride, and it is buried with me now. A corpse as I am a corpse. I am dead as my faith is dead, and I shall remain here, surrounded by blackness in death as in life. Yeah. Most of my brethren would desire only to take what power I have left, even if it would destroy them. I wish my sword to be taken away from here. I do not wish it to rot away as I have. I command this of you. Uh, and what do you want me to do with it? If, if you are wise, you will not keep it. In the end, it is what destroyed me. There are three blades within my sarcophagus. Only one is truly my soul. But it has been so long, I do not remember which. Find the soul that is mine and place it on the statue. If it is truly mine, then it is yours. And the sword then you must... Yours? Die. This is how it must be. Mm -hmm. well, I, I do remember is. one thing of my soul. Listen to me carefully. Here comes the hint. I am that which grips the heart in fright. Harkens night and silences the light. It was written of my sword long, long ago. Go then, find my sword and place it on the statue. Okay. Uh, While well, I'm here, anything else to loot? Oh, nothing there. That's the statue. What's in the corpse skull? 
Retinal implant and 450 bucks. Okay. Place a sword in the statue. If ever a sword, the silver line, the notched steel. This is the only one not like the other two. I'm pretty sure it's the notched steel. Uh, yeah. <laughs> because it's the one that goes with the statue. Items lost. Okay. Yes, oh. that is the one. That is the blade that destroyed me. Oh. Take it. Take it and the other blades even. Take them and go. My darkness awaits me. Oh, wait, um. There's no need to remain here, is need? There? What choice have I? Yeah, you can return to the light. Return? But I betrayed my old masters. They would never let me return to the light side. It is too late. Can you force persuade too a ghost? Late. <laughs> no, yeah, no, I do not think so. Oh. I have the eternity I deserved. I made my choice. Yes, that's what I get for ago. not doubling down on some be of the charisma. Peace. Oh, got it. All right. I'll take the thousand XP though. I was hoping I could save him. Who would have thought that persuade would have become such a required skill? Oh. Okay. All right. That moves. That moves some of the stuff over there. All right. That that lever is what moved that obelisk over there. Gotcha. Oh no, it didn't. Okay. I don't know what that lever did then. Huh. All right. Oh. Hello, so sir. the spineless worm actually made it through the tomb. I'm impressed. Oh, yeah. Isn't it You're the bracket, isn't it? I've been hoping that someone would do the dirty work in retrieving the sword of a junt Paul for some time. It's been quite a wait. Warning! Touch the master's blade and lose an arm, big bag. Now that you have it, I just <laughs> thought I'd relieve you of it. It must be quite a burden after all. Uh hmm. You're not taking anything, I think I'll manage with it just fine. Kinda of you offer the I don't know what you're talking about. What sword? Ah, I think I'll manage oh, with it just I fine. Insist. I'm not about to let a chance to impress Master Uthar pass me by. Especially not for <laughs> a pathetic excuse for a Sith like yourself. Hand over the sword, worm. You know I'm the superior here. <laughs> just let me get it out. Uh, hmm. What are you gonna give me for? Fine. No tricks though. I'm watching you. <laughs> the notch steel sword was the right one. Let you know what? Let's get the sword. Move. One. You're obviously more pathetic uh, than I could have even imagined. Thanks for the sword, mm -hmm. worm. Yep, 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 yep. It's a shame we gave you the sword. Yep. Such a shame. Alright, that that takes care of everything we got going in here. Uh, although, I don't think I looted that box. Oh, I'll take all that. Thank you very much. You gotta stop getting my way. And did we talk to you back at the beginning? Sorry, I can't yeah. talk. We have to excavate this valley with hand instruments. Yada, yada, There's all yada. kinds of... Okay, so we have done all the tunnels that we could possibly do. Alright, let's go turn in everything to Master Uthar. Actually, you know what? Okay.
That's just a way. Okay. That's pretty much your standard Fibro Sword, Agenta Paul's Blade. 5 to 15. Alright, that's not that bad. Plus 2 fire damage. Attack modifier of plus 5. Okay. Held by the Dark Jedi even before he fell to the dark side, this may be one of the few truly personal items owned by Agenta Paul, and remains as thoroughly corrupted as he. Critical hits and awareness, adrenal clarity, life support back. All right. So. Oh, never mind. 5 to 24. Uh, we're going to skip all the guns. Oh, it's a double weapon. Never mind. I couldn't use it even if I wanted to. All right. 21, 7 to 16. Yeah, wow, that ceremonial blade's got a better chance to hit. Plus 20, plus 22, but only by two. Lower ceiling, but higher floor. But it also does some bonus damage against a droid. Alright. You know what? I ain't playing with all that. Nope, 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 nope. Not to the Charlotte Caves. I was pretty sure running with a lightsaber out's not smart. You know, trip and fall. You'll poke your eye out. Alright. Let's go turn this puppy in, and I think we'll, uh, yeah, we'll definitely call it a night. Sorry, a little quieter than usual today. A little more subdued. It's been a long couple of weeks. Uh, my mother got a new job. I've been helping her pack over the weekend and on a lot of my spare time. So uh, it's left me a little run down. All right, Mr. Uthar, let's go ah, turn some stuff in. What is in. this you bring me, Shardan? It is none other than the sword of Ajunta Paul, Master. Fool. All the trouble you went through for your deception, and you did not even make an effort to verify the sword's authenticity. <laughs> Master, what, what do you mean? There is no place for fools amongst the Sith. Be gone. Oh. Yeah! Do well, not okay, forget then. our agreement regarding Euthura's treachery. We shall put her in her place, should you reach the final test, that is. I dealt with ah, those renegades. The students. ones I ordered executed for their mutiny. It's done then. They're uh Indeed. They're gone. We checked the caves and found only a couple of bodies. Perhaps the Shirak ate them. Uh, mm -hmm. It is just as good, I suppose. The Pretty lesson sure. is learned. I believe. Go now. You have done well, but you have not impressed me enough to declare you the victor. I have matters to attend to. All right, I dealt with the road oh, droid. I heard that the droid ran out and blasted off into the sky. We tracked it for a short while before it vanished from our scanners. What do you make of that? Hmm. I yeah, we'll suppose go with that. that will have to do, though I would prefer proof of his destruction. Still, it shows innovative thinking. I am impressed. I you impressed. have rid us of a potential nuisance. You have impressed me enough, by my estimation, oh. to become a Sith in full. Congratulations. So I really didn't one. even need to do you all of them? You bested the others quite completely. You have but one oh. final test which you must take, and this requires us to travel to the tomb of Nagasado. In the Valley of the Dark Lords. I would advise you to be rested and equipped before we leave. Return to your quarters now and seek me out in the morning. When you return, make sure that you have all you will need, for you will face your test alone. Go, and may the Force serve you well. Okay. So, some journal, XP. Anything new in my footlocker? No. Okay. 
Wow. So I have the sword of a gentleball still. Hmm. Okay. That's not bad at all. Alright, I do need to go back to the Ebon Hawk. Yeah, I know. We still got our agreement there. I probably need to either talk to him or walk into the main hall. Either way. I'll go talk to him after... Yeah. Let's head back to the ship. Then we'll call it a night. And since I did level up, I'll go ahead and run through these guys off camera. Um, I'll probably run around checking upgrades and that sort of thing off camera. Just because that, that gets kind of kind of boring. And uh, I'll have to reevaluate what the uh, specialty items <laughs> on there, because, uh, I don't know, there might be a couple of good things in there. So dramatic. <sighs> Are we gonna run into somebody who wants to talk to us here? No? Okay, good. So let me go ahead and save the game. And save. Are you sure you want to override that save game? Yes. Saving. And this is where I switch things over to the credits. And say thank you for joining along. Uh, I hope you had fun. Again, I apologize for being a little less talkative than normal. Uh, just... A lot of stuff going on this week, and uh, yeah, so next week we will wrap up the final test on Korriban, and if we've got time by the, by, when we finish getting the last bit of star map, we'll head back over to the oven station, sell off a bunch of the junk, and, uh, and then head towards the Star Forge, and all the things that come with that. That should be fun. That, that should be all sorts of fun. So if you enjoyed it, join me again next week, Thursday, 6 p.m. U.S. Eastern. If you missed the previous episodes and want to catch up, there is a link to the YouTube channel down below. And um, you can also subscribe to the YouTube channel where I will be uploading some more stuff in the, uh, in the days to come. And uh, yeah, there'll be all sorts of fun stuff coming up. I also do a show on Tuesdays at 6 p.m. called Coffee Craft. It is a Let's Play Minecraft server that I run with Rayest and Arcadius. You probably saw Arcadius in the chat. Um, we three are going through our Season Zero right now. That's kind of our training season where we're learning how to get everything set up and uh, prepare for the real deal. We should be wrapping that up by the end of the calendar year. So uh, join in and... Uh, Stay tuned, follow, uh, yeah, Mixer and Twitch it is, follow or like or favorite or whatever it is, uh, I know what you, I know you know how to do this, follow along, enjoy, and, uh, and I'll catch you next time.